Don't worry, be happy. Today's June the 15th. I'm Pastor Arlen. The scripture I have for you today is found right here in Matthew chapter 6, verse 27. It says, Who of you, by worrying, can add a single minute to his life? See, God doesn't want you to live worried and anxious about anything. He knows that worry is counterproductive. It steals your peace and it robs you of your joy and it affects every area of your life. And it even affects your sleep. So, have you heard the saying, don't worry yourself sick? See, worrying will actually make you physically ill. Um, you know, my grandmother was a champion worrier. And because she was a champion worrier, I worried. And I'd worry about silly, stupid things. But thank God that I learned that I don't have to worry. I can cast my cares upon the Lord and He care for me. So, you don't ever have to, to worry. See, you won't ever gain anything by worrying. And in fact, it causes you to lose precious moments that you can never live again. See, the good news is, is God has promised to bring you victory over worry. So, when you make the choice to put a, an end to worry... God will give you his peace. So decide today to put an end to worry in your life. Don't feed worry by focusing on bad news all the time. Sure, we would be informed and we need to be informed, but we should be most informed of the truth and the word of God and what God's word will do to deliver you. And by you trusting in God's promises, then we don't have anything to worry about. So choose today to feed your faith and fill your heart and your mind with God's promises. And declare every day, my God provides, meets my need. Don't worry about how you're going to get food. Don't worry about how you're going to get that gallon of gas. Just say, Lord, you are my provider. Thank you for it. Trust in Him. He will always come through for you. And He makes a way when there is no way. He is the restorer and the redeemer. As you focus on God's word, you'll drive out worry and fill your heart with faith and expectancy. And you'll be filled with hope and joy and move forward into the blessings that God has in store for you. So I'd like to say a prayer for you today. Father, thank you that we can choose today to put an end to worry in our life. Thank you for teaching us in your word that to trust you and not to worry. Father, we choose to feed our faith by studying in your promises and declare your word over our life today. Help us to totally trust in you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's my prayer I have for you today uh, in the scripture. Uh, I pray your guys' day is, is filled with favor and blessings from heaven. And... That surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And today is one of those days. So make it a great day. God bless you. And remember, Jesus is Lord.